Now, if you've ever been to the beautiful road circuit, Road America, located in rural Wisconsin, you know that they're famous for one thing, brats. We have a couple here, and as you know, the Atlantic series is filled with a lot of drivers who aren't from America and may have never had a brat before. So uh, we're going to go see what they think about Wisconsin's finest. So we're here with uh, the driver from Brooks Associate Racing, Marcus Niemelein. Marcus, have you ever been to Wisconsin before? No. This is your first time here. So did you know that Wisconsin was famous for bratwursts? I don't think I'm coming back, actually. Do you know what a bratwurst is? Do you really want to know what a bratwurst is? No. All right, so what I want you to do, does this look like any kind of food that you have in your native Finland? No. No, okay. What I want you to do is I want you to take a bite of this and tell me what you think about Wisconsin's best brats. Okay. I can tell you already what I think. No, no, just give it a try. Okay. Oh, you don't? What do you think? I, I don't think I... Holy cow, this I don't think... You don't like it so much? No. Okay, so apparently bratwurst do not fit well within the whole Finnish food system. So we're now here with Simona de Silvestro, who hails from Switzerland, and I've got a feeling that bratwursts are not a popular food in Switzerland. That, have you ever had a brat? Yes, I did. You have? Was it here in Wisconsin? No. Where did you have a brat? In Switzerland. <laughs> She's lying. Well, either way, okay. Wisconsin is known for its broth, Road America especially. So I was wondering if you would take a bite of this, try it, and tell me if it's better than those Swiss broths. Who ate it before? That doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. I don't it. know. It doesn't matter. No, it's, it's fine. It's, here, here. Bite out of that end. Better than a Swiss broth? There you go. <laughs> Better than the brats in Switzerland, Road America, you have these things figured out. We're now here with uh, Yancey Dietalevi, he's an uh, engineer at Brooks Associate Racing. And uh, Yancey, you're from Greece? No. Canada, sorry, he's from Canada. Same thing. Fellow Canadian and uh, Greek background. And no. Um, no. you've been to Wisconsin before, I know. I've been to Wisconsin yes, with we you have. before. We have. We've shared it, some lovely it times was a here. Lovely time, wasn't yeah. It? Now, have you ever had a, a Road America brat? Johnsonville brats. Johnsonville yeah. brats. You've had one, so you won't mind trying one today and tell me what you think. I will try. All right. Burnt brat. All right. Take a bite. Tell me what you think about that. Goes in. Oh, that was a big bite. He's hungry. Tasty. Tasty. Now that's a plain brat. What do you normally put on your brat? Coat it. And what? Oh, ketchup, mustard, relish. That's just right. sick. It's, it's not just racing team people we're after. We're also here with a member of the press, Sal Craighead, with uh, Formula Car Magazine, e Formula Car News. And uh, tell us where you hail from. Toronto. Another Toronto boy. All right, so we got another Toronto boy. You've been to Wisconsin before. Multiple times. Have you ever had a brat? I have. Road America. Now, which corner did this brat come from? See, one of the key points about Road America brats, different stands, different part of the tracks, different flavors. This is from the main stand, right in the center of the racetrack. So, uh, I want you to take a bite of that and what do you think. Is that a good brat? That's up to Road America standards. Road America, another satisfied brat customer. So we're here with uh, my teammate for the weekend, David Martinez of Mexico, and uh, again, I don't think this is part of a uh, an average Mexican meal for you know any day. So uh, have you ever had a brat? What? A, 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 a brat. This is a brat. You had one of these? Uh, no. You've been to Wisconsin before, right? Yeah. Well, it's, it's a little known fact that Wisconsin is world famous for their brat. So I want you to, to take a bite of this and tell me what you think. I know it's different from what you'd have in Mexico, but I, I want you to just try it. Alright, taco beats the brat in Mexico. I guess you can't win them all. So I'm sure you're all familiar with this young man, Frankie Munez, drives for Pacific Coast Motorsports. And uh, Frankie, you've been to Wisconsin before. Yes. What food do you think Wisconsin is famous for other than cheese? Road America especially. 
The Johnsonville Brat. The Johnsonville Brat. That is the correct answer. Very smart man. Now, have you ever had a Johnsonville Brat? No, I haven't. You've never had a Road America Johnsonville Brat? I've never had one outside of Road America. Frankie, today is your lucky day because I have one here and I really want you to try it and tell me what you think. It's heavy. Yes, yeah, Simona bit it though, so it's okay. It's your first. Come on, don't worry. All right, fine. You don't like sharing food. All right, I understand that. There you go. So take, take a bite of the broth. It's really nice. You enjoy that? I do. That's good. So, do you think you might order a broth on your own now, either inside or outside the track? Yeah. Yeah? There you go. Broth, now part of Frankie's daily diet. So I'm standing here with Tony Eastcastmitz, who is uh, making a comeback appearance in the Atlantic Championship in Road America. And Tony, this is your track. This is your place. You've been in Road America many times. You own this place, right? Well, technically. Not uh, technically, no. Someone else owns it. But yeah. You do very well here. Okay. Right. I agree. So you've been here many times. So you must know that Road America is famous for its broths, right? Okay. You know that. It looks ugly. Okay. It looks ugly, but it tastes beautiful. I can see what's coming. Up. Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that you're picking up where we're going with this. You've been here many times. Have you ever had a Johnsonville broth? Yes. You have. And what did you think of it? It's okay. There's not enough sauerkraut. Not enough. Is that what you'd put on it in Estonia? It needs to have sauerkraut. You know, otherwise it's just too. Kind of yeah. Do you have brats in Estonia? Yeah. Yeah? We have electricity and we have water. <laughs> and we have all these things with, you know. Really? Yeah. Do you have daily newspapers? Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. Okay, well look, I want you to try this one and tell me if it's better than the brats in Estonia. Alright, I'll do that. Alright, have a bite. Yeah. What? You want some brat with that bread? <laughs> that is typical American bread. You dip it in the water and it disappears. So, well, bro- there's nothing real about it. It is all completely fake and preservatives. But brat is not bad. The brat is not bad. Yeah. Okay, so it passes your high standards? We're standing here with Johnny Unser, who's the race director for the Atlantic Championship. And, and Johnny, I know that you have been in Road America many, many times. Have you ever had one of Road America's famous Johnsonville brats? I have. Do you enjoy Road America's Johnsonville Brats? I do. All right. I want you to take a... Have you had one this weekend? No, but I have a bad oh. stomach right now. No, you don't. <laughs> I want you to take I a bite. Think I want you to take idea. a bite. It's fresh. We just bought it. I want you to take a bite. Tell me if, if they're still up to your standards from years past here in Road America. What, what did you do to this? Nothing, nothing was done to the bra. Something's got to be wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. I promise you. Do you want me to take a bite first? You would? I would. Okay, no, I'll take a bite. All right. I'm going to switch in. That's fine. <laughs> you do what you got to do. What am I supposed to do? I just want you to know, I just want to know how it tastes compared to other Johnsonville bras you've had. There's nothing wrong with it. That was the end. I put something in. <laughs> Does that live up to your broad expectations? Yeah, a little dry. A little dry? What would you normally put on a broad? Mustard. Mustard. Just mustard. Simple guy, I like it. Simple taste, but hey, he enjoys a broad and that's what counts. So we've done the interviews, we've talked to drivers, engineers, the press, the race director, all sorts of people to get their opinion on Johnsonville broads. And basically, the consensus is, apart from Martinez, that these things are okay with us, so thanks, Road America. Mmm, that's good.